Yo, what's up everyone, Scout here, back with episode 5, and in this episode we're carrying on from the last one where we added the aiming animations, and we're going to be putting in this camera zoom effect. And you might have noticed if you've been watching from the first video, when we walk left and right, it doesn't actually transition the animations properly, and this is really easy to fix, we just go into edit, and then project settings, and go to the input manager, and then so first of all on the horizontal we're just going to turn off snap, and then the same for the vertical. So now if we play the game, you can see when we walk left and then go to right, it transitions a lot nicer. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's just get into this video. So basically what we're going to be doing in this video is on the virtual camera, when we aim in and out, we're just going to be changing this field of view. So you can see if we change it down to 40, it's more zoomed in, we put it back to 60, it's more zoomed out, and we're just going to be smoothly changing this value. So what I'm going to do first before we start writing any code is just put this virtual camera as a child of the player which is just going to make it easier to get the component for the virtual camera. And now what we can do is open up the aim state manager first. So we're going to need a few more variables in here, but before we do that, first of all, we just want to be using Cinemachine so we can get the virtual camera component. So now we can make a variable for our virtual camera. So I'm just going to have a hide and inspector and make this a public and there's going to be start typing a virtual camera and you should see Cinemachine virtual camera come up. And I'm just going to call this VCam. So next I'm just going to be making a public float and then this is just going to be the ADS FOV and then I'm just going to set this to about 40 for now. So next we're going to be making a variable for the hipfire FOV and I'm going to make this one hide an inspector because we're just going to set it to whatever the field of view is at the start. So this is going to be another public float and then this is going to be hip FOV. So we're going to make two more variables now. The next one is going to be hide an inspector, a public float for the current FOV. And then finally, we're just going to make this a public float for the FOV smooth speed. So now we've got all the variables, we can get the virtual camera in the start and then also set the hip fire FOV. So we can do this by going VCAM and then set this equal to get component and children. And then this is going to be Cinemachine virtual camera. So next we can set the hip fire FOV. So we just go hip FOV and set this equal to the VCAM dot M underscore lens. And then this is dot field of view. So now that's everything in the start, we're just going to go over first to the hip fire state. So what we're going to do in the enter state of the hip fire state is just go aim.currentFOV and set this equal to aim.hipFOV. And then next in the aim state, we're going to do the same but for the aim FOV. So aim.currentFOV, set this equal to aim.aimFOV or ADSFOV. So now there's only one more thing we need to do. So what we're going to do in the aim state manager in the update function. So what we're going to do here is just set the vcam.m underscore lens dot field of view and then set this equal to, and what, I'm just going to copy this for now, and then it's going to be mathf.lerp and we're going to lerp from this to the current FOV and then this is going to be the time, is going to be the smooth speed and then times this by time dot delta time. So before we actually play this I'm just going to set a speed up in the variable here, set this to about 10. And now in Unity, you can see when we press the right mouse button down, we zoom in, we let go and it zooms out again. So that's everything for this video. And then the next one, we're going to be getting the character to actually look where the camera's facing. Because at the moment, he just looks wherever he wants. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.